Hello everyone, I'm Tony from The Corrupted Gaming Show, and holy shit, it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally going to do the reflection on this goddamn comic, Tales Got Trolled. So let's jump right in. I am going to be using the same exact reflection template that I used for Sonichu. Uh, I believe it's pretty basic and will translate over just fine to this one. They're both just as shitty. So let's start out here. The overall feeling of this comic. Um... <laughs> Well, to describe it, I think the best way I can describe this is this comic is very boring. It is probably very apparent to you as the viewer through watching episode after episode of Dane and I read through it that it's very boring for us to read. The comic itself is, is not very interesting, and the randomness of it goes away basically by chapter two. It just really doesn't have enough meat to keep you interested, even in the most ridiculous sense, you know? It's just very boring. It became very dull for Dane and I to read. It became basically a chore. And uh, it absolutely didn't help that a lot of the technical issues we faced re resulted in, in our footage being lost, so we had to record Chapter 5 about a thousand times. And every single time, it just kept getting worse. It was It's just such a boring slog to get through this comic. And I think one of the best ways to describe it, for me, personally, I feel, is imagine somebody talking to you about something. doesn't matter what it is, but for example, let's say a movie. Imagine somebody's telling you about a movie, and they keep using the word and. So it would go, and then Optimus Prime showed up, and then all of a sudden there was Darth Vader, and then there was... Gandalf, and then Dumbledore showed up, and that, and it keeps going like that forever. That's what this comic is. It's just that, that person talking and saying and forever. <laughs> and it's just, it's just too much, you know? You have all these random characters in this fucking story, and just, if you can call it a story... But it just doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't have a point. It doesn't have a right to exist, really. And it just continues forever. And that's really why I think it was so boring to get through and why I think this is, this is bad. But not an enjoyable kind of bad. I don't really understand the infamy that this comic has. I think it's because it's so terrible. And personally, I think the internet was just looking for the next Sonichu, really. And they saw potential in this, but this just isn't isn't good. It's not fun. It's not a fun read. Let's move on to the story, or I'll just keep talking about how it feels like shit forever. So the story, the direction. Does it have direction? Well, we stopped it, you know, before things started to get really silly. I know, right? Like, it was already crazy that fucking Pac-Man is a king in it, but... <laughs> We stopped before it got really stupid, but it never went anywhere. Nothing really happened at all. Trolls keep trolling, characters keep dying, shit keeps happening. Nothing, nothing changes. There is no direction. There is no end goal to this. And because of this, the next thing, the pacing, pacing just is bad. There is no pacing. All of a sudden a character dies for no reason, they appear for two seconds, and then they're gone. There's just... There's no point to anything happening, and there's no correct pacing. There's no time for you to connect to a singular character here. I believe that it wants you to connect mostly to Shadow, which makes no fucking sense because it's called Tales Gets Trolled. You think you would maybe connect to Tails, or maybe it could be a complete, you know, f just a complete flip, and you're supposed to sympathize with the trolls or something, or maybe follow them in their weird escapades. I don't know. But you're, you're not really connecting with anyone. You're not given enough time to really know any of these characters. And I'm using the term characters very loosely here. <laughs> They're not really characters, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know what they are. I, I can't really call them tokens, because it's not like it's not like they represent anything. I can't really call them stereotypes. They don't represent any stereotypes. Like, it's, but they're not characters. They just ex they just exist. 
They're like rocks. These characters are just rocks to just put on a page, essentially. Does the does the author utilize the world? No. Not really. That's which is so fucking crazy. He creates a world out of <laughs> being so generous here. He creates a world. He doesn't create jack shit, but for benefit of the doubt here, let's say he created this world. And he has all these colorful characters in it. He's got it's, it's, it's fucking Marvel characters and Sega characters and uh, League of Legends characters and but the fucking Bugs Bunny and Mario. Uh, like, there's so many fucking characters. And are any of them utilized for anything interesting? No. Not at all. There's not one character who's utilized for anything interesting. These characters could have just been nothing. Why they were Nintendo characters. Why they were Warner Brothers characters. Why why Doug is part of the Troll Defenders. None of it matters. None of them are utilized. At all. And that's a huge problem. If you're going to make some sort of fan fiction, or you're going to put characters into a story, fucking, and they're taking from other character from other stories, fucking use the characters. It's not that fucking hard. I guess Bowser shot fire and Mario used his hammer and Luigi used his hammer, but can you really call that utilizing? That's the bare bone basics. Mario jumps, Luigi jumps and uses his hammer, Bowser does fire. That's not utilizing them. That's having him be there for an extended cameo, and that's what this really is. It's just characters with extended cameos until they die. Speaking of the characters, do the characters have any character? Well, no. They, they don't. They don't have any fucking character. There is no difference between any of these characters. The one fucking character that stands out. I don't, it just stands out. That's so fucking generous. The one character who's different is the original character. The human character. The, 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 the boy with no ears. Because he has no fucking ears. That's, that's, that's not a character. That's not... He's not a character, but I mean, like, he's the only one I can think of other than just, like... I can't think of any characters specifically. I can name off a bunch of characters that were there. Teemo, the Hulk, Bugs Bunny. But they're not characters. They're just... I remember them because they happen to be famous and relevant to me. But they aren't in the context of the story, and that's just... They don't have character. Are there too many? Fuck yeah! Yeah, there's too many. There's like a new character every other page. Like, what the fuck? Calm down. Pick a couple of shitty characters and stick with it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm surprised Jesus fucking Christ wasn't in there. Oh my god. Like, and there's a few original characters in there. There's the Troll King. I'm just assuming they're original. I haven't seen them anywhere else. There's the Troll King and the Troll Lieutenant and the Edgy Troll. But, they don't... They're not characters either. There's there's both too many characters and not enough characters. I say too many, but they're not even characters, so I can't say there's too many. You see the predicament here? These characters don't exist. I could point to Chris Chan and Sonichu and, and Wild, and they don't really have character, but I, I know shit about them. They're different, sort of. They're all the same, but they're all different. They're at least characters in a way. In the most bare-bone, basic way, they're characters. These are not. Who's the best and worst character? Oh my god. Okay. Um, who's the worst? <laughs> Shit. I could just I could just spin a roulette wheel and wherever it lands is probably the right answer. None of these characters resonate in a way that's more particularly horrible than another. I suppose if I had to pick the worst character, it's the guy with no ears. Because why is he there? He's there just to say, Guys, I don't have ears. I can't hear what you're saying. Why? Why is that there? It's such a bad joke. It's not even a joke. Why is that character there? So who's the best character? Well, <laughs> shit, the only one that has any character is Shadow. So I guess I'll say Shadow. He's, he's, it's not even like Shadow has character. He's just there long enough to be relevant. He's angry as fuck. That's his character. He's angry and edgy. Oh. 
that's that's it. He's the best because he, at least I remember him. This God, the art. Moving on to the art, character design. Well, here's the thing. This should be easy, right? He's just steal. He's flat out stealing characters from other franchises, and he doesn't even get that right. I don't remember your name, commenter, on one of my videos, but I believe there was a commenter who pointed out that he didn't even draw Shadow correctly. Shadow and Sonic have very different types of hair. Sonic's hair is kind of slicked back, Shadow's hair is kind of pushed up. It's a small difference, but when the character designs are so similar, it's kind of a big deal when, the, when, the, when it's something as small as hair has relevance. And he doesn't, he doesn't even do that right! Shadow's hair is fucking down like Sonic's all the fucking time in this comic. He can't even draw the characters correctly. And the original characters? Fuck, they don't... They're not even designed well. One of them has no fucking ears and it's just like... Basic generic blonde guy. The Troll King? I mean... It's just a, a fucking... Slightly brown-skinned, hairy, big guy. He's... I can't even describe him. That's how bland he is. I can describe tons of evil ca I can describe Bowser right fucking now. He's a giant turtle who's got spiky horns and spikes coming out of his turtle shell. And he breathes fire and he's kind of green like a dragon. He's like a dragon turtle. And he's got spiky armbands. Look, I can describe that character. That character design is something I can describe. I can't describe any of the fucking character designs here. And the ones for the characters that are here, that are stolen, are done incorrectly. So, the character design is ass. It's ass. It's complete shit. The backgrounds? Holy shit. Don't get it. The, the, what backgrounds? What fucking backgrounds? Most of the black... The most of the backgrounds are just green. Or blue. It's, it's blue. It's the sky. Green. It's the floor. The ground. It's... it's it's a solid block color. Nothing is different. They're in a cave. Oh, everything behind them is brown. Oh, they're outside. It's all green and blue. There's no fucking backgrounds. And the worst thing about these backgrounds if, is because when he smudges the characters, which he does all the fucking time because that conveys motion, that's the only way he knows how to convey it, is the backgrounds get all smushed. And they, the, the characters get smushed into the background because there's no... There's no shadowing. There's no difference between the character and the plane in which he exists on. Is he above the ground? Is he... Let's... Let me give an example. Let's say in this comic, Shadow is in front, front of green. It happens a lot. Is he standing on the green? Is he in front of the green? Is the green slightly behind him? Is it in the distance? Is it in... It's fuck, is it right behind his hair? Can he lean back on that green? Or is that green supposed to be a valley behind him? Or is he just floating in a green ether? There's no fucking way to know, because there's no difference between the backgrounds and the characters and the way it's drawn. And I use, I use the term background very loosely. Very generously, I should say. Style. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you even call this a style? This is just... The style here is just gorilla MS Paint drawn with a mouse. And, you know, that's, that's just not really a style. That's the basics. That's where you start. I guess you could say he stole styles from the franchises he stole from. But that doesn't, that doesn't make it his. There's no style here. This is where you start. It's as if we're looking at the rough sketches of somebody who's drunk and scribbled this on a napkin. This isn't a style. This is just garbage. Alright, on to the details section. Author intrusion. Um, there's no... S luckily, there's no self-insert character, I believe. There's no character here that I can point at and say, this is the author here. There's not a Chris Chan here. But is there author intrusion? It feels like there is, yes. It feels like this was an author who was bullied by someone on the internet, and this is why they made this, and it's like, hey look, I'm gonna kill all the, the bullies in my fucking comic because I'm the coolest cat in town. So is there author intrusion? Yeah, there is. It's not direct and overhanded like Christian, but it's there, and you can tell. What's the tone of this comic? Well... 
That's a good question. It's supposed to be humorous, I suppose, but it's also trying to convey a message, which I'll get to in the potential. It's supposed to be sort of serious in the sense that it's trying to convey to us a message, but it's sort of supposed to be funny. But wait, at the same time, it's completely morbid. Characters are just dying and there's blood everywhere. It's completely morbid, but that's not done in a funny way. That's just morbid. Which defeats the purpose of the message that's trying to be conveyed. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on. For, I'll get to the potential section at the end. So what was the overall feeling of the Let's Read? Well, I touched on that in the overall feeling of the comic itself. I feel that Let's Reading this was very difficult. I feel that it was not very enjoyable for my co-host Dane or myself. And I think Dane would be inclined to agree with me. He did not enjoy this either. Uh, that's not to say that we didn't enjoy making this for you guys. Of course we did. We wouldn't do it if we didn't. Which is why we stopped it when we did. Because of... At the point it got to, we weren't having fun reading this. And for you, that makes... For you, the viewer, that makes a video that's not enjoyable. At least I think so. It would be much more beneficial for us to move on to something else that at least we'll get a laugh out of and will be fun for everyone. But this was just not fun. It had potential to be fun, but it squandered it with the amount of boredom it has. And just the repetition and just... But fuck randomness. But it's randomness that's predictable. It's random that Doug and, and Skeeter just show up. But I could have predicted that was going to happen. Which is so strange to say that I could predict that of all things and have it still be random. But it's, it's bad. So, did this have potential? I like to say that anything in the right hands could have potential. Even Sonichu. And this... I believe this was trying, this is a very difficult thing, because I believe it was trying to convey the message of something like Fern Gully, if any of you happen to know what that is. Uh, Fern Gully is a movie about the environment. It's supposed to convey the message to kids that destroying the environment, specifically in this movie, Fern Gully, the rainforest, is bad. Don't do that. We need, the, we need nature, we need the environment. Be nice to it. And in Ferngully, it does this in such a heavy-handed way that the audience does not really get the message. Because it's just done so poorly. And I believe this could have been that. Not Ferngully, but it could. It has the same sort of thing. Where it's trying to convey the message that bullying is bad. Which it is. Don't bully people. It's just not a good thing to do. Internet bullying as well. But at the same time, this is one of the most difficult things you could ever do no matter the medium. It doesn't matter if it's film, if it's if it's comics, performance art, it doesn't matter. Giving somebody a message like don't bully is a difficult thing to do without just having it be very heavy handed and missing the point entirely. Something like this is very hard to do, and it doesn't surprise me that it fucked up so hard. Because honestly, to convey the message that don't internet bully and using it with Shadow the Hedgehog and <laughs> fucking Timo, that's just not gonna work, you know? In the right hands, maybe this could have been a short little, you know, couple page comic where it's like, hey, you know, be nice, be nice to other people. Maybe it didn't have to be about internet bullying. Maybe it could have been just a thing with tons of characters coming together and saying, you know, just be nice to each other, you know? That could have worked. That could have been just a small thing that could have happened. This could have had the potential to be that, but it's not. It's just... It's someone's fantasy. It's just, look at all these characters that die because I don't like them. Look at all these characters that beat the shit out of trolls because I don't like those trolls. Look at this. I, I'm better than you, nanana boo boo. That's what this is. It really had no potential to go anywhere. But any potential that it could have had, I guess, was just not going to work. Because it's, it's such a difficult thing to convey a, a good message. No matter the medium. So overall... This comic was very bad. <laughs> I mean, that's all me and Dane cover. It's just very bad comics. But this one was a special kind of bad. It was surprisingly boring. With its amount of surprising randomness. And I really hope I don't encounter something this astronomically boring again. So, see you guys on the next video.
Have a good day.